Now, if you have Vocab Builder on, you'll see that several icons do not have ability to speak and they do not have the icons shown. This is to give your student less vocabulary to start and more as uh, you find that they're developing good skills with this vocabulary and are ready to advance to more vocabulary options. When you have Vocabulary Builder on and you add a new button, you will not be able to see the new button that you've added. So I added a dog to this page and I know the dog's name that I listed. So now I need to make sure that name is in the Vocab Builder. I'm going to go to Vocab Builder and to the Search tab at the top. I'm going to write in the name of the button that I added and I can see that right there. The button is Hanzo, that's the dog's name, and I want to hit the check mark to the right of that word to make sure it's visible and I'm going to hit done. It will take a few minutes to update and I know the vocab builder is on because I had that green button at the bottom of my vocab builder list saying that it's on and now Hanzo is Hanzo visible. and so I know where it's located Hanzo but I could have also just gone straight straight to my vocab builder typed in the word and found it from there I can also use this to add words quickly for example if I want to add a word play it's already available. If I wanted to increase it to playing, then I could find that word under play. If I wanted to add a word cookie, I can just click the check mark and sometimes you might see some issues with the first buttons in sequence being shown and so if you find that it's not available then you would have to go in so that cookie. gave me snack and so under snack is where cookie. I had cookie and so I was able to add it just by adding it to the vocab builder